What's going on, everybody? Eric Lindquist at Stochastic here on the Odd Chopper channel coming to you with my, get ready for this, five, five. It's actually going to be six favorite prize picks here for today. I'm going to talk about putting an entire card together. We are staying in one category. It is wild, some of the numbers that exist over here at Prize Picks today. And I want to make you some money. So I'm going to give you my five favorites for a five player parlay card. And then I'm going to give you an extra bonus one there at the end because I do think we want to be cycling them in. I'm going pairings from teams. It's not even going to be total home runs. So I'm looking forward to this one. This is going to be a crazy video. I think there's a lot of money to be made in the prize pick streets tonight at their current lines. Hopefully they do not change between now and this video being released. One thing that will not change between now and this video being released, that $100 first match deposit bonus right there using promo code Osmo. There it is. $100 first match deposit bonus when you sign up and play a prize picks right now. Uh, yeah, that's for new users only. So if you're already there, let's just win you money anyway. Okay, cool. Let's do that. I said I was going to do it. Pairings. Here's how we're doing it today. We're going to hit her fantasy score. And there are a couple spots that I think that there are pairings, literally two by two. Hurrah, hurrah, something like that. A little bit Noah Noah's Ark action going on today. But we're starting yesterday, Cedric Mullings, hero of the people. Alex Bregman, thank you, God, for that home run to kind of really bring it home. Make me a little coin. Hopefully you guys made some coin as well, talking through the section. But we are going to start with this pairing. Alex Verdugo and J.D. Martinez of the Boston Red Sox. We want more than five and a half for both of these. This line is really, really low. Uh, as I'm looking at it over here on the Stochastic website, we have projections that are north of seven and a half for both of them. And for me, that makes a lot of sense because the opposing pitcher on the other side is one Jose Barrios, who uh, not just because I'm a Twins fan and I feel scorned because he was supposed to be a real thing and then he just gets traded and nothing really happens. Uh, I've just never thought he was a good pitcher ever throughout his entire tenure. And that is really showing up this season uh, in a very meaningful way. I mean, other than his last start out where he finally put together a good outing against the Yankees, it's been a really abysmal year. And the stat cast adding really goes to show at a 44.4% hard hit percentage, a 355 X Woba, a 489 expected slugging and a 20.9% K percentage. That is really a significant difference that we've seen uh, from him. He was up to 26.1% last season, 25.1% the season before that. You're talking about a sub 21% K percentage. And again, he buoyed some of those numbers just by having a decent outing last time out. You get Boston here. Uh, Toronto's got a really good lineup. So, I mean, there's an opportunity for this to just be a high scoring game. You get a ninth inning bump more than often. I mean, Toronto is favored in this game. But Bears with this 5.39 ERA, 1.37 whip, lots of ways for these two specific hitters to get there. They've both been batting, what, fourth and fifth, it seems routinely in this lineup. Uh, Alex Verdugo, he's got a 286 expected batting average, only an 11.3% K percentage. I tell you what, he doesn't hit it very hard, 38.4%, but to get five and a half isn't a huge ask in this kind of a department. And I feel kind of the same way about J.D. Martinez, who has been routinely one of the best hitters in baseball for however many years in a row. I would say he's been pretty unlucky so far this year. He has a 356 X Woba, 269 expected batting average, and 473 expected slugging. He gets a poor righty out there in Jose Barrios, a guy who gets by on name recognition and a really good lineup protecting him behind him. I just think we go for both of these. So I'm going for blood on Jose Barrios. Uh, there's no home run props here attached to these guys, so no correlation needed for each one individually. I think, though, small amount of correlation here together for the same game environment and the same situation. So I like the over a five and a half hitter projected fantasy score here for Boston. We make our way downtown walking fast bases past and I'm homebound, but da -da 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 that's a great song, but we're going to go next to Reese Hoskins. Where is he at? There he is. Reese Hoskins and Kyle Schwarber was here. He better be here again. I got to type him in now because we got to find him. I need Kyle Schwarber in my life. There we go. So eight and a half is a gigantic number for both of these individuals, but I am going to absolutely be picking one of these two more than likely, just because I think the home run potential is gigantic. And this will be my prim primary box in for home runs, Schwarber and Hoskins here. So in terms of putting a card together like this, you couldn't do this as a five player parlay because you can only pick one of these two. 
I'm going to slightly prefer Kyle Schwarber here going up against TJ Zook. He's a righty. He's terrible. He's got over a 13 ERA. That's not good. Only an eight inning sample size here, but I was going through some of his AAA numbers too. Not impressed when five starts in AAA here this season, you still are carrying over. He had over a two whip at one of those starts <laughs> or at one of those stops, I, I suppose. Um, he's very bad at pitching. So we want to get all that you got here in terms of Hoskins, Schorber. I'm going to be boxing those in. So I want to just talk about it specifically because I do think I only want one of these Phillies if I'm playing a five-player card here. So we're going to call it Kyle Schorber just for all intents and purposes. And of course, I'm, I mean, you're going to automatically be flex playing because we're picking five here. So uh, Kyle Schorber going to be the main guy, but I want to also throw in the pairing Reese Hoskins because I think that he makes a lot of sense. All right, let's bring it home. One more pairing. We finished this entire thing out. Going to the bottom, and it is Trey Turner. It is Mookie Betts, and I will probably even have some Freddie Freeman. What are we doing with only an eight projection for both of these individuals with their stolen base upside, with the amount of times that they just get themselves on base? And then this is the first return start here in a while for Adrian Hauser, who is horrible at pitching. He's got a 17% K rate. He's got a 273 expected batting average. That makes sense when Mookie Betts and Trey Turner are the two guys you're looking at. Freddie Freeman does have a 315 expected batting average, the 540 expected slugging. So seven and a half is absolutely going to get hit by me too. But for all intents and purposes, I want the two guys at the very top of this lineup with the stolen base upside going up against a righty here. And it just makes a lot of sense to be firing up Trey Turner with this 290 expected batting average. Mookie Betts, a 470 expected slugging, 349 X Woba. Both of these guys around a 350 X Woba. You walk them, they are running. You walk them, you you set yourself up for a lot of problems because they're going to get guys behind them to run uh, to hit them in. We saw it last night against an elite pitcher in Corbin Burns. I mean, this is how locked in these Dodgers are right now. So Trey Turner, uh, very fast, good at sliding. Mookie Betts, just all around amazing. Great bowler, eight fantasy projected score. The polling has nothing to do with it, but I thought I would let you know that I know something about sports. So here you go. Those are my five favorite prize picks for today. My God, and it's actually six because I do think I'm going to add uh, a little bit. I'm going to be kind of jumping in and throwing in some Hoskins here too, but it's an over on every single one of these guys because these projections are way too low, but it's J J.D. Martinez and Alex Verdugo from the Boston Red Sox, more than five and a half on both of them. Kyle Schwarber, more than eight and a half projected fantasy score, and I will be doing the same with Reese Hoskins. And Trey Turner and Mookie Betts, the over of eight. Don't forget to add some Freddie Freeman into your life. I'll just click on him so you can see him. There he is. He exists. But Mookie Betts, that's going to be the primary one for me. Uh, guys, this is just a phenomenal card to be going to these hitter fantasy scores. I like the duos too because, I mean, there's a little bit of correlation there when we're going for five. Plus, there's routes where, I mean, a lot of the time one's going to work out, one might not. But I think five-player cards when these low projections exist is a really good way to go. I did it a lot yesterday, kind of experimented. And I think that there's definitely something when you're 2Xing your money uh, to be able to have a really nice day when these projections are as low as they are. So use promo code AWESOMO. Get a $100 first match deposit bonus when you sign up over at Prize Picks. This is a longer one today, but I thought it needed some explanation. Same way that I explained the math behind some of these home run props and, and correlating those. Thank you so much to Prize Picks. I'm Eric Lindquist. Best of luck in the MLB streets on Wednesday.